Division by three digit numbers. Let's do this problem that's in the book. Divide $37,497 by 431. So 4 goes into 37. We know it will go 9 times. 9 times 4 is 36. Let's try 9. 431 times 9. And it's good to do your math on the side of the problem. This way, if there's any mistakes, you don't have to erase. So 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 4 is 36 plus 2 is 38. So 3,879, but we see that number is too large. And we can never have a larger number. It has to be smaller. So let's try 8. 431 times 8. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 4 is 32, plus 2 is 34. And you can see the advantage. By me doing the math over here, I didn't have to erase over here. Now all I have to do is transfer this number. 3, 4, 4, 8. And subtract that. 9 minus 8 is 1. 4 minus 4 is 0. 7 minus 4 is 3. Bring down the 7. Let's not forget, this is 4 digits, so that number comes over here. This is 8. And how many times is 431? Going to 3,017. Let's try 7 times. 431 times 7. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 2 is 30. We see that number is the same. 3017. That equals 0. We put the 7 over here. And don't forget, when you have a dollar sign, to put the dollar sign in the answer. So $37,497. Divided by 431 equals $87. Let's look at this video scene. Say this machine cost $259,150. That includes the interest for five years. How much does it cost to operate this machine per day for five years? In industry, we often want to find out the cost per day for a machine. We like to pay a machine off, say in five years or whatever length of time we want to use, but for this particular machine we want to save for five years. So in five years we want to earn at least this much per day for that machine. That's a profit. This way it will be paid off. So what we have to do then, we want it's five years, so let's divide 259,150 Divide that by 5. 5 goes into 25. 5 goes 1 and 4 goes 8 plus 1 plus 3. So it's $51,830 for one year we want to earn profit that we want to make on that machine. And let's say this $51,830 by 365, which is days per year, that will go into it one time, 365, that'd be 3, borrow 1, that'd be 5, that'd be 1, bring down the 3, and that would be 4 times 365 times 4, 20, 24, 26, 14, 1, 4, 6, 0. Oh. That'd be 3. That'd be 7. Lower the 0. And this would be 4 times here. 365 goes, would be 2 times. 365 times 2. 10. 13. We deduct then 730, and that leaves zero. 
And so if you operate the machine seven days a week, you would want to earn at least $142 profit per day. Now I have a company, that machine actually came out of my company. We operate our, our equipment only six days a week. Sometimes the machine runs for 24 hours unattended. And so if we want to divide instead of 365 days, we'll take 52 times six, six days a week. And we would say 12, multiply that number, 312. So we would divide 312 into this number. So the cost per day would be higher. And so it's important if you own a company or if you're a manager, you want to be able to pay off your equipment. Because if you don't, eventually you go out of business. So you have to make a profit to pay off your equipment. So you can see that dividing numbers is very important in working in industry. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.